If you're getting a Belgian Malinois puppy, you need to be thinking about when you're gonna be taking it to the vet for the very first time. So if you're not sure when that should be, don't worry, we have the video for you. Welcome back to the Fenrir Belgian Malinois Show. My name's Joe and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. We are dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Malinois and then how to become a high level canine leader so you can raise your very own. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a future upload. Thinking about when your Belgian Malinois should go to the vet for the first time is very, very important. You do not want to miss that appointment as they'll be being checked over by the vet and they'll probably be getting their general Jabs as well. So today we're going to be tuning into a webinar that the canine behaviorist and founder of FenrirCanineLeaders.com, Will, has recorded all about when your dog should be going to the vet for the first time. So then let's dive into today's quick fire webinar and we will begin with the importance of proactively planning your first visit to your local vet with your new puppy. So what does proactive planning for puppy parents look like? Well it is safe to say that your new life will change once your puppy comes home to you. More often than not, even seasoned dog owners are surprised about how much time and careful planning it takes to raise a puppy and yet they bring so much joy into our lives that we would not have it any other way. There are a few ways to make life as a puppy parent easier and one of them is being proactive. Carefully planning what your puppy will need before bringing them home. Proactive planning includes puppy proofing your house and garden, buying baby gates, a playpen, a crate and everything else that your new dog will need. But even more importantly you want to schedule their vet visits well ahead of time. And not just the very first one either, ideally the dates for all appointments your puppy will need should be marked in your agenda or on the calendar hanging in the kitchen wall. In this way you can have full focus on the job at hand, engaging with your new dog, bonding with them, house training them and teaching them all those amazing first basic commands. So then let's talk about your puppy's first vet visit. Now some dogs are afraid of vet appointments because they have learned to associate them with being poked and prodded and having needles stuck into them and you do not want your puppy to be scared of the vet. A vet to, a visit to the clinic should be a positive experience for them, not something that they should dread. The easiest way to achieve this is going there with your puppy at least one time before their first vaccination is due. Whilst you are at the clinic for your introductory visit, ask the staff to pet and handle your puppy. Play with them a bit and give them some treats. Of course, whilst doing so, keep them away from other potentially unvaccinated dogs. For example, by holding them in your arms rather than letting them walk on the floor. Now, in this way, you are actively taking advantage of your puppy's early socialization phase whilst also keeping them safe. As well, you are creating very positive associations around the vet clinic of your choice. And in this way, your puppy will learn that vets and visits to the vets are something to enjoy and not something that they ever need to be afraid of. So then, your puppy's second and third vet visits moving onwards. And if you're buying a pedigree puppy, the breeder's own vet will have chipped, vaccinated and dewormed all puppies between the age of six and eight weeks. The exact dates of this first set of treatments should be marked on their pet passport, together with the recommended dates for the two follow-up vaccination boosters. These boosters should be spaced apart between 21 and 28 days from one another. All you have to do then is to contact your own vet and to make two appointments, one of each set of vaccination boosters. Once 21 to 28 days have passed since the date of your puppy's first vaccination, you will find yourself at the vets for this first booster. By that time, your dog will be around 12 weeks old, and this same injection will be repeated around the age of 16 weeks old. Some vet vets even recommend an additional booster vaccination when the dog is 20 weeks old. On top of these two jabs, the vet will vaccinate against rabies, usually again between the age of 12 and 16. So then, now let's look at an approximate schedule for your puppy's trips to the vet clinic so you can really get a grasp of it. So vet visit number one with your eight week old puppy. This is the social occasion we spoke about earlier, which allows your dog to become familiar with the clinic and the personnel there. Vet visit number two with your 12 week old puppy for the first set of their vaccination boosters. 
Vet visit number three with your 16 week old puppy for the second set of vaccination boosters. And if recommended by your vet, vet visit number four with your 20 week old puppy for an even third set of vaccination boosters. Now, young puppies also need to be protected against inner and outer parasites such as intestinal worms, heartworms, fleas, ticks, mites, and insect bites. The good thing about these treatments is that they do not require separate vet visits. Either your vet will apply the appropriate medication themselves as part of your consultation or they will package them up for you, in which case you want to make sure they write down exactly when you need to give them the medication, exactly how much of it to give and whether it should be with food or on an empty stomach. Usually, parasite medication for puppies is given in the form of a tasty pill that your dog will usually eat without problem. In case they don't, use a piece of soft sausage or butter or cheese to hide the pill in and you'll find yourself that they'll just wolf it down. If you do have trouble getting your puppy to swallow the medicine, ask your vet for help because there is things that they can do. Heartworm prevention for puppies usually comes in the same pill as their deworming medication but you want to double check with your vet that that is the case and whether or not the prevention is needed as you may be living outside of a heartworm risk area. Now personally, I recommend heartworm prevention if you live in an affected area to protect your dog from this le potentially lethal parasite. Now by the way, puppies up to 12 months cannot be v uh, vaccinated against heartworm yet, therefore prevention is the only option until that they have reached that kind of adult weight. So then, I know that is a lot to take in and that does wrap up our quick fire webinar discussion of what age your puppy will need to see the vet and for what reason. What we said here is designed and just as a quick overview, we're not vets and we advise you to check with your local veterinarian as to which jabs and other treatments are advisable for you and for your puppy to take. So I hope you did enjoy it and I can't wait to see you on another webinar episode. There you have it guys, some really useful information all about when your Malinois should be going to the vet. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, get involved in the comments down below as we would love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell as we have two dedicated videos coming in every single week. So I can't wait to see you in the next episode of the Fenrir Belgian Malinois Show.